In this video, we took you to a beautiful spot in the Abacos known as Hope Town, where there's a sandbar and things get a little clothing optional. In the previous video, we sailed up to the Abacos from the Eleuthera Islands and had to battle weather and storms all the way. We made it through the weather safely to Marsh Harbor and the Conk Inn Marina. Hurricane Dorian devastated this island and the evidence is still plain to see. Most of the buildings were destroyed and all the docks had to be completely rebuilt. We're back in bikinis! <laughs> well, some of us. Almost. <laughs> we're back. We are here at Marsh Harbor. Um, Bucky is uh, excited, I'm sure, to Bay go. Buckaroo. He doesn't like it actually when we're underway. He's a bit more of a... He's marine. been used to a month being on the dock, yeah. so it's been nice. So now he's... I gotta have a little bit of a change. Yep. So we are gonna start getting the boat ready to go. We're not gonna head very far. We're gonna head to Elbow Key tonight. Uh, it's like six or seven miles. Everything in the Abacos is pretty pretty close by. Uh, we're on the dock here at Conk Inn Marina. Uh, really nice marina, and there's all new pilings, all composite stuff. Pretty cool. This is the home of uh, Navigar. So all the boats on this dock are Navigar boats. So we want to thank everyone's them. super nice here. If yeah. you ever come here with your boat, I mean, yeah. everyone's super helpful and. Um, yeah. The people are really nice. The dock, yeah. dock guys and the Navigar guys are really nice. So if like uh, if, if you do want to do Navigar, it's navigaryachting.com and Doodle gets you three hundred dollars off. So <laughs> I am going to start up the generator, disconnect shore power, uh, so I can pay for our electricity, and then and disconnect, and we'll start things up. So it's it's nearly high tide right now. It's about three feet of tide. It's probably two and a half right now. There is a good amount of tide here in the Abacos. And they have these docks really high because Dorian came in and so what happens is you have the storm surge which raises the water another three feet. So you have six feet of tide and then the waves coming up. And so the, what the waves would do is just hit the bottom of the boards and pop them all out. And then uh, when the boards are gone, all the lateral stuff, then the, the lateral support's gone and then the pilings get pushed over. Uh, so they raised the uh, dock here about 18 inches. Hopefully next time there is a hurricane that we don't have this, they don't have that problem anymore. So, uh, but all composite stuff should last Last, I mean, heck, these things should last a very long time. These are the, uh, that is gonna be the Conk Inn Hotel itself. Uh, and then the restaurant here is almost done. It looks really cool to me opening in the next three weeks. It'll be really nice, you can just come in here. So I highly recommend this marina. The staff has been really awesome. It's family owned, Mike and Michael and his son Brian own it. And uh, really nice guys. We are reconnecting the shore power cable, which is never a good sign when you're trying to leave. The, uh, so we rebuilt the starboard engine about six months ago. I mean, not the starboard engine, the starboard engine starter. And uh, yep, it has failed again. So got a mechanic on the way. I mean, I doubt he can do much. Uh, oh, wow, these guys are, okay. Welcome, come on. One thing's for sure though. Starboard engine, always on the right. Yeah, All right, those guys were coming in a little hot and scared me for a minute, but uh, so. Uh, yeah, reconnect short power. Um, and I got a mechanic on the way. I doubt there's much he can do other than look at it, write down the model number of starter, and then see if he can find one. Um, I, if he can't find one, I gotta order one from the States, which could take a week. This video was sponsored by HelloFresh. They deliver fresh, quality produce from the farm to your door. They have 30 different recipes you can choose from every week. You can save up to 72% compared to dining out. So HelloFresh is the easy and less expensive way to uh, get all these fresh made foods sent right to your home. So it comes in the box, uh, you can order different kind of meal plans. You can do vegetarian, you can do carb conscious, you can do a balanced diet, whatever you want. You can tailor the box to your needs. They send it to you, it's still nice and fresh in this little freezer pack and all that but they actually send you these step-by-step -step instructions with all the preps and everything you need to do. And then they send you the individual ingredients you need, right? So this is for the uh, saucy pork burrito bowl, right? It sends me peppers, onions. It's already got like the rice pre-portioned and the, all the tomatoes and everything you'll need and the sauces, all that stuff. So pretty cool. If you like cooking, uh, sends you everything you need and it's nice and fresh ingredients and cheaper than going to the grocery store. So I don't know about you, when I go to the grocery store, I end up buying way too much stuff. I'll buy too many peppers and not enough tomatoes or whatever. So this sends you exactly what you need so there's a lot less waste. So guys, I just got word from HelloFresh. They have a special offer for Sailing Doodles viewers. Go to HelloFresh.com, use code SAILINGDOODLES16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. All right. Since we're stranded on the dock for a while, we're gonna take a ferry over to Hope Town where apparently there's a bunch of restaurants and bars and some beaches. Go check it out. It's at Heaty Beach, apparently. It's very nice. So we're cool. gonna go over there and 
uh, get out of this marina for a little bit. Yeah, go do some reconnaissance for when we take the boat over there. It was about a 15 minute walk down to the ferry dock and then a 10 minute ride over to Elbow Key and Hopetown. We're headed to Abaco Inn for lunch. So it was a guy from the driver from the Abaco Inn just picked us up. We were planning to come here anyway for lunch. So this is a really beautiful spot. They've uh, already rebuilt a lot of this because this was all gone after Hurricane Dorian. Perfect plan. Perfect. Just for us. Can sit here later. Look at those greens. I know it's going to be a long day, so I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> All right, to the Abaco. Cheers! Yeah, the boat. All right, the uh, owner of the Abaco Inn was like, yeah, just take my golf cart. So, really nice guy. I suggest coming here. Whee! So, we're on a golf cart now. And here we are. I really, you were manifesting. I really wanted a golf cart because everyone here drives a golf cart, and I'm like, it'd be so much fun. The owner was super nice and let us use his. Looks so. like Santa Claus. He looks like Santa. Santa gets you all the presents. Thank you, Santa. I'm sure, very few people live here full time, other than like people who work here. But like, I'm sure, there's a lot of vacation homes here. I mean, look, it's pretty water. It was a short golf cart ride down to the beach. What do you think? So nice, the water, and it's extremely a lot of locals, which is cool too, and everyone drives the golf cart, which I love. But the beach is just so pretty. It's nice because we've been on Marsh Harbor, so there hasn't really, there's no real beaches there. So beach day, and drink some tropical drinks. Hang out. I'm gonna stay here forever. Change has a reason. Water like this is what the Bahamas are all about. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. How do you like the water? Nice. It's not too hot, so it's actually refreshing. Whew. It's actually not cold when you get out of the water. Passion's gone, we are doing. So this is Tahiti Beach, properly named, you know, Tahiti's a nice place. Really cool, beautiful water, sandbars all around, can't beat it. We're going to go out to the sandbar right now. That'd be the thing to do if you had a house or a vacation house down here, you get yourself a little center console, cruise around the Sea of Abaco anytime you want, perfect spot for it. There was a beautiful sandbar where, especially on the weekends, boats will raft up and have a good time. On this day, though, we had it mostly to ourselves. So, nobody around on the sandbar. <laughs> sure is nice out here, though. No, she's still putting her top back on. Uh, hang on, I gotta put her top back on. It's pretty amazing, like, all this was flattened during Hurricane Dorian, but this has been rebuilt already. It's only been a few years. Um, they, they, some of the locals we were talking to say that, yeah, they, they rebuilt all the outer islands and the Keys first, because, I mean, that's where the money is, right? That's where people come and spend the money. Uh, it's kind of sad that, like, on the main island of Abaco itself, I mean, yeah. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> What's up? It's better in the Bahamas. It is. Uh, so it's kind of shame that on Abaco itself that, uh, you know, it's for the poor people that haven't rebuilt that much yet. There is nothing in between. So baby, we should start living now. Because we only have this life. Oh. <laughs> Guys, how was the uh, day at Tahiti Beach? Beautiful. I'm so happy we came here. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty beach. Nice to be back on the beach again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to we bring the boat over here and anchoring right there. 
Apparently there's supposed to be a floating bar coming, I guess maybe during the weekends as well, but it's not here. It's no. supposed to be right there. Next time. Next time. At least this time we got to see Bobby and his towel. <laughs> yep. I don't know what that means. Alright, now we're in trouble though, because I promised Steph I'd let her drive on the way back. What do you mean we're in trouble? She said she had experience. We're ready for the ride. She said she had experience, ride. so right. we'll see. How do you drive a car? How do I drive a golf cart? I've done it before, but where's the key? It's like the bottom. And on the left hand side of the road. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be a bit of an adjustment learning to drive on the left-hand side of the road, but Steph handled it nicely. And did we survive? Yes, we did. After taking the ferry back to Marsh Harbor, we hitched a ride to the marina. Honestly, the people have been the nicest here. Seriously, it's been a lucky day. Yay, don't have to walk. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, we're hitchhiking back to the marina. This is something I have not been looking forward to doing for quite a while. So this, uh, so the, the toilets on this boat are vacuum flush. So this is a vacuum flush pump. Um, basically, there's a little bellows in here and it goes up and down and it's got a couple one-way valves, right? So when it goes up, this valve opens, the fluid and poo and everything goes that way. And when this so it, it sucks it in, right? And then this valve is closed. And then when it pushes back down, this valve is closed. And then, so this one opens and it pushes the poo and stuff that way. Well, what happened is, is on the old one, which is 20 something years old, these things wear out occasionally. So the bellows, the little, how, I don't know if you know what a bellows is, but it's kind of like an accordion, right? It goes up and down. Gotcha. So that cracked, right? So as it was coming up and doing that, it was just squishing the poo and everything out. And so it overflowed and just every poop everywhere. Gross, disgusting, right? So I called up the guys at Aquastar Distributors. Every time I've had ordered anything from them, I've gotten it immediately. So I just called them up. I said what my problem was. They knew exactly what it was. They sent me the right voltage, everything. And I got it within just a couple of days. So thank you to Aquastar Distributors for doing that. Um, I would recommend you work with them. There's a link down below if you want them. And so now I need to replace the old pump that I have this one. You know, the problem is, is that those lines are still full of fluid and bodily fluids and so it's gonna be really gross getting that out so I've got gloves I'm gonna do trash bags and all that put it under everything and hopefully I have the least amount of spillage good news is is that uh, this pump is relatively easy to get to it's like right here um, so should be pretty easy to get to. Uh, I'm going to basically unscrew the base first so that it's not mounted anymore. And I'm gonna put uh, plastic bags underneath it so that when I disconnect the hoses and all that, hopefully anything leaks out just leaks onto the plastic instead of to the regular rest of the boat. And uh, yeah, we're just hoping. Okay, got everything reconnected, everything's tightened down, everything's wired. I've got two of the four mounts on, but I'll make sure it works before I tighten everything else down. And go ahead, Steph. Did it flush? Yeah, turn it on. Hey. Hang on, two water pumps going off. All right, uh. 
All right, so everything's hooked up, it's working. The only problem is, is probably part of the reason uh, this one went, the other one went bad, is that what happens is that thing pulls suction and it's supposed to shut off at a certain amount of time. So obviously uh, there's a suction leak somewhere because it just keeps running and running. It'll make the toilet flush, but like it's not, the pump never turns off. So it's sucking air in from somewhere. I'm not gonna deal with it, um, but it is very important that when the people are finished using the toilet up front that they turn it off because you don't want that pump to just run 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 and then eventually it'll bust again but we're good to go